There's ice right there. Five one nine one, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trivia Night. Let's see, we got some people in, we got some people running late, but y'all know when you talk it to the party, then you hardly get started. So, without any time wasted, I am your host DJ Sly Fox. As you see, this vile painting face down here. That's DJ RB three thousand. How you doing, sir? We got Sierra in the building. We got Darius in the building. Welcome, sir. We got Jason Michael in the building. How you doing? How you doing? All right, now, the name of the game is history. His story. History. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to ask the question. Uh, we have five topics. Science and technology is one. Geography and landmarks is one. Arts and culture is one. Let's see. People and events is another. And the last one is sports and recreation. Now this is throughout history, all right? So, you know, don't be mad if I don't ask no sports question about LeBron James or, or a science question about them solar eclipse or nothing like that, all right? Uh, this is how I'm going to do it. If I'm not mistaken, the order of people I seen come in here today was Sierra, Darius, and then Jason Michael. So I'm going to go in that order starting now. And as people come in, I will put them in order. I will ask you what topic you want. Each card has six questions on it. That will be the maximum amount of points you can get. You answer all six questions, you get six points. You answer one, you get one point, and so on and so forth. If somebody picks a card and they don't get an answer right, then you can raise your hand, steal a point. All right? So I'm going to put this name and put Sierra. And Sierra, we are on you. You get to pick your topic first. Then Darius, you'll be after her. But if y'all, if she gets one wrong and you know it, raise your hand. I will call on you and we'll get you up here. All right? And it goes for everybody. So... Jason M, let me put that before Jason G come in here. All right, so Sierra, what you, where you at? I don't have to go first. No, 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 no. You, you came in here first, McGee Goff, go ahead. So what, what what topic would you like to start with? <laughs> um, here, I'll give you, let you see him. Sports and recreation. Um, People and events. Arts and culture, <laughs> geography and landmarks. Definitely not that. Science and technology. Let's do culture, I guess. Uh oh, she's so going with arts and culture. All right, so I'm gonna pick one card. The one card will have six questions on it. You will get to go from there. All right, here we go. If she gets a question wrong, guys, put the hand up, and you can steal if you know it. <laughs> If you know it, don't 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 waste my time with the hand raised if you don't know it. Y'all know how we doing it here. All right, first question. Oh wow, who was Sierra? Who was the first Disney princess with a tattoo? Oh, what the hell? Uh, um, I don't know. Snow White didn't have one. Cinderella didn't have one. Five, uh, four. <laughs> I don't know. One. You want to guess? I don't even know any of them. Cinderella and. All right. Mm -hmm. Jason Michael, you got your hand up, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, Darius. They got the uh, reaction button at the bottom. That's how we go. Ah, uh, that sucks. <laughs> Jason Michael got his hand up real quick. I'll let him get an attempt. Jason Michael, do you know the first Disney princess with a tattoo? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I, I was trying to hook up my bigger speaker so I could get you louder because you're not as loud on this old laptop. But uh oh. Um, first Disney princess to have a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna have to say that would be uh, uh four. 
three, two, one. Moana? Moana is a good guess. That is incorrect, though. Darius, what you got? First Man, I don't think I could think, I I think well, Pocahontas. And that is mm. the answer. Pocahontas is the first. That, was, that, was been my, that was my second guess. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even know she was the Disney princess. That's wild. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that came out when I was like six. Hell. All right. Well, look, you get your. We're going back to you, Sierra. Like I said, yeah. y'all check your reactions. Make sure you, you you can get your hands up. Um, she will be able to answer first. All right. Uh, Sierra, what legendary band did Adam Lambert join as lead vocalist in two thousand and eleven? Oh dang! Legendary band. I, I actually know who that is, but I don't know the. Wow, this is embarrassing tonight. <laughs> oh, I got. Uh, I don't know. I think there's like four people in the group. What you got? What's the name of the band? Five. I don't know. Four. I don't listen to. Oh, Jesus. One. I don't know. Time. All right. Darius, what you got? What legendary band did Adam Lambert join as lead vocalist in 2011? Uh, I'm going to say, I'm just, I'm gonna say Kiss. Oh, that is a good guess. That's not correct though. Hey. Jason Michael, what you got? Y'all making me feel good tonight. I don't know about um, you. Know <clears throat> That's too big. Queen? Queen is correct. Now, how they make you feel good when you had two questions and they got two points? They got a point of peace over there. <laughs> well, because I mean, it's going around though, so it it's like ping ponging. Point. That's true. That's true. And right. I don't. I guess I know who that is. I've never heard of Queen. I'm about to look it up. They uh, they sing uh, uh, don't they sing war? Queen sings uh, not war. Oh, rap city. Uh, Queen sings uh We, we Will Rock You, that group. Yeah. That's yes. No, no Queen, Queen sings We Are the Champions. We are the yeah, champions. Oh. Yeah. Buddy, you oh, know, shit. they sing that too. Yeah, they sing all the same. We are the champion. Yeah, we are the champions. Yeah. My friend yeah. and the, the lead singer was these people came out in 1977. Yeah. With Freddie Fre Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. I don't know these people. I was born in 1990. Well, you need to. This is why this is called history. If you haven't noticed, we're talking history. I thought you were talking about the little tall, sexy white guy. The tall. In 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 today's time, anyways, I don't know. Well, Adam Lambert joined. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yes, he joined Kiss, and I mean, I think it was probably on stage for a show, but it was in 2011. He took Freddie Mercury spot because Freddie Mercury died. Oh, okay. Yeah. Say the Who knows that? All right. Well, look, Sierra, you on your third question. Let's see. If <gasps> this is a weird question, but it's a question nonetheless. This is art and culture for some reason. What is the rarest M&M color? The rarest M&M color? Color. The color of an M&M. The rarest color. And it's, it's probably a trick question, but... It's the rarest Eminem color. I don't know. I'm gonna go with yellow, I guess. Blue. Yellow is incorrect. Jason Michael, what you got? Damn it. Green. Red Blue? is incorrect. Darius, what you got? I knew it. Brown. Brown is correct. Brown is the rarest Eminem color. Really? That is crazy. Is, now. is it? I mean, well, you get red and, and yellow all the time. The two that y'all said, which is totally not rare because they got the mascots as those colors. But brown and yellow yeah. are in those. Oh, because brown is the woman. She's a sexy one in the little no, commercial. She's green. Oh, she lime. She lime green. She's green because oh. that's the sexy. She's green because that's <laughs> the, the sexy <laughs> I oh, thought man. brown was a girl and she had heels in the last commercial that they oh, released. Man. All I know is oh, that's, that's the rarest one. All right, but that's cool. That's cool. Everybody has answered one question. So this gives me hope for this game because when we was going to the trial run, boy. <laughs> All huh? right, Sierra, what you got, RB? Well, so I won't be in. Hey, hey, don't blast me like that. You supposed to live. <laughs> it's all good, baby. It's all good. All right, Sierra, here we go. Who 
was the first female member of the Justice Society, which eventually became the Justice League. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, my God. I don't know. Wonder Woman? Yes, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> that was giving. That should have been <laughs> That, hey, that was definitely, if you would have got that one, I probably would have banned you for a week. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Come on. Just for, for some moral support. I want you to, you know, study up. That's all. All right, you got that one, Sierra. Look, everybody's on the board. Here we go. The fifth question. In Tibet, rather than shaking hands as a greeting, people instead do what? Oh, my God. Um, rub elbows. Wow. That is actually a pretty good guess. That's not it. But that is... <laughs> Jason, yeah. Michael. Jason, Michael, what you got? Um, they bow. That's also a good guess, but that's not it either. Darius. Hey, don't they? Don't they? Uh, don't they take uh take some take their hand and and put it on a on a on a forehead? You know what? I've seen like grab I've their hand. Where they, where they that thing? That ain't it. The correct answer for this one. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. The correct answer for this one is they stick out their tongues. Oh. Wow. Tibet. I'm thinking monks. I'm thinking, what you sticking out your tongue for, fam? That's that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. We got the power in the tongue. The power. I, I bet. They, they did invent the Kama Sutra over there somewhere. So. <laughs> let me check. He said, let me check. He said, let me check. All right. Check. Last question. Last question for you. Woohoo. This is, yeah, that's yours. All right. What did the Raven say in Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven? Quote the Raven. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, wow. I don't know. Yeah, wow. I, I mean, we did that in school one time. Uh, I want to say still I rise, but that's my Angelou. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Time. Jason Michael. Uh, quote the Raven. Uh, <clears throat> what did the Raven say in Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven? Uh, One word. This is like iconic. <laughs> he said five. Bo. Four. <laughs> that ain't it, man. That ain't it. It's so <laughs> iconic that they use it in wrestling for a wrestler named the Raven. There's, he's like, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm clueless. All right, this is RB. Quote the Raven: Never more. Never more. Never more. That is yeah. the name of the school that Wednesday Adams go to right now because Edgar Allan Poe was their favorite uh, figure. I don't know if y'all watched uh, Wednesday. Okay, that is awesome. That was a good first round. Sierra, mm -hmm. thank you for arts and culture. Uh, mm -hmm. For right now, Sierra won. Darius two and Jason Michael won. All right, we're going to go to Darius. Darius, you get to pick the topic. Science and technology. We go. Oh, you already we go into geography. Oh, geography. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Think uh we ain't had no trouble with this one, I don't think. <laughs> we'll see. All right. As y'all can see, geography and landmarks. This the question is gonna go to Darius first. If anyone knows it and he doesn't answer it right, you get to put your hand up and go for it. All right, here we go. Ooh. I don't like this one. What was Thailand formerly known as? Uh, I don't know. They, I, I don't know why I feel like they was like a. Uh, wow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna break my brain. <laughs> you say, say Sega from Street Fighter. Sega from Street Fighter. Well, he was from Thailand, huh? He was. Uh, he Jason was. Michael. Jason Michael. What's your guess? Timbuktu. Oh. I don't know what Timbuktu was, but according to this, it wasn't Thailand. Uh, Sierra, you want to take a crack at it? 
Ten buck too is always nah, okay. I'm good. <laughs> she said, nah. All right. <clears throat> I may be pronouncing this wrong, but see him. See him. S I A M. See him. Never heard of. S I A M. Yeah. Siam, yeah. Siam, Siam, okay. Siam, yeah. All right, all right. We're going back to Darius. Geography and landmarks. Ooh, what is the longest river in Ireland? Uh, um, I'm a, I know a few of them, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the the Tigris. Mm, that's not it. That's not it. We'll, we'll get to it. Jason, what you got? Uh, is it the Gangsy? Got triple A batteries. The Gangsy, that's not it either. That's not it either. Y'all naming ones, I know. I don't know where they are, but I know these rivers y'all talking about. Sierra, want to take a crack at it? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. All right. The correct answer Brady. is River Shannon. You. Shannon. I think I heard one of my Irish uh, wrestlers talk okay. about that. But that was it. Okay. Going to number three. That's crazy. All right. No, sure. For Darius, Dimple Gang, Job. What city was founded in 1847 by a group of Mormon pioneers? Wow. That makes sense. This is a U.S. What U.S. city was founded in 1847 by a group of Mormon pioneers? <laughs> hold on. Okay, hold on. It, it could be one of the two. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say the wrong one. Let's go Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City, Utah is correct. Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes. Bam. Good one. That's a good one. When they said Mormons, I was like, oh, yeah, makes sense. When I heard of Mormons, all I thought was the, the college, BYU. Be, be, bring them young. Bring them young. I said, well, we used to make fun of that word, that uh, name of that school. Oh, y'all want to bring them young, huh? Okay. All right, let's see. Number four, fourth question. It's for Darius. During the Revolutionary War, Continental troops used Fort to to conduct. Ooh, shit. Ticonderoga, Ticonderoga as a base for plan, for planning an invasion of what country? I'm going to repeat that. During the Revolutionary War, Continental troops used Fort Ticonderoga. I said that totally wrong. Ticonderoga. Mm. Wife, come read this word for me. Ticonderoga as a base for planning an invasion of what country? So you should have enough Revolutionary you. War. Spain. Ain't it? That's not it. What you got, Jason Michael? Mexico. That's not it either. Sierra, where you at? Not there. <laughs> she said not there. Oh, Jason Michael, you was on the, the wrong direction of the United States. It is Canada. It is Canada. Huh? It was a revolutionary war or a revolutionary war period? Gosh, it just had to be a revolutionary war. During the, the Revolutionary War, they was, they was, uh, if, if I mean, I'm 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 D D what time it goes? Conta D. Roger was, then I may help out a little bit. I have no idea what that is. All right. This, you know, Siri, what you I'm muting for? What you got? Nope, she muted back. All right. Darius, this one is for you. The Sioux Canal is located in which country? Oh, I think he, I think he froze him. Give him a countdown anyway, just to be fair. All right, Jason Michael. Um, Guatemala. Mm, that's incorrect. Uh, 
Sierra, what you got? Uh, uh, that's crazy. What happened? I didn't even hear the question. I was, I was going to – never mind. I, I had some bad internet. I just lose on that one. I ain't no, no, it's, it's, it's fine. I, you didn't hear it. I, you got time. He just got it wrong. I'm going to ask you. The Sioux, I just heard you say Canal. Yeah, the Suez Canal is located in which country? Panama. That's not it. That's not it. All right. This is about the Panama Canal. That's the question they ask on the morning show every day on morning. I'll be listening to that. Sierra, you like, nah, you good? I can't even pronounce the river y'all even mentioned. Mm -hmm. Or is it a river? So I'm all right now. I don't know. <laughs> all right. It is Egypt. The correct answer is Egypt. Right. You have to really know your history or some or really enjoy these topics in order to get these questions. You gotta really know your what? No, your oh. history. <laughs> history. That's that's what we're doing today. Yeah. I did put a disclaimer. I said these are gonna be some hard questions. All right. So that's in Egypt. All right, here it is. Oh, easy question for Texans. So let's see what, what the Texas folks said. Sierra, this is on you. The oh. historic hmm. battle. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is Darius. This is not Sierra. This is Darius. Um, the historic battle of the Alamo was fought near which present-day Texas city? Come on. Darius, Darius is, uh, he got that bad connection again. I do. I do. I'm a, it's still on you. I'm going to give you the option. I'm going to give you the chance. Which, okay. which historic, this, <clears throat> excuse me. The historic battle of the Alamo was fought near which present day Texas city? Uh, San Antonio. All right, San Antonio is correct. Newcomer Darius, after two rounds, is leading the troops four to one to one. All right, it is on. That was geography landmarks. All right. It is on Jason Michael. Jason Michael, would you like geography and landmarks, science and technology, sports and recreation, people and events, or, or art and culture? All right. Science and technology. Technology. Science and technology. All right. All right. So the first, uh, first answer goes to Jason Michael. If you know the answer and he doesn't, Feel free to raise your hand and I will give it to you, give you the chance to do it. Science and technology. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. Which inventor is credited with creating the World Wide Web? Uh, uh, Sean. <laughs> well, man, just a minute, I, Sean, I, see what happens. <laughs> that is not correct. Anybody want to chime in on that one? Sean. What's the question? Which inventor is credited with creating the World Wide Web? Oh, 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 inventor. Sure, I don't know. I was gonna say Steve Jobs. <laughs> that's, that's about a good guess as Sean, though. So, <laughs> Sierra, you don't want none of this. Sierra just be her own little word. Mm -mm. Give me some Sierra words. just church. <laughs> she did her part. Right? <laughs> you got that first one. I'm gonna answer one question. I'm good. All right. The answer is Tim Berners Lee. Tim Berners Lee. I've heard of that name, but I had no idea. Yeah, he worked for CERN when he when he came up with that acronym mm -hmm. WWW. Oh wow, there it is. All right, Jason. You said the creator of the I should have put the two together. Oh, wide web. I, I, I didn't put him together with inventor. Mm-hmm. Because creator, inventor, yeah. Yeah. Well, you you good, Sierra? What question you asked? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right. Jason Michael, second question. What is the only other animal aside from humans that that is known to have rituals around death? This is some National Geographic shit right here. 
Muito verde. Peguei? Coyote? Oh. That ain't it. That ain't it. Anybody else? Question is, what other, what is the only other animal aside from humans that is known to have rituals around death? Darius. Um, uh, damn, I was going to say, well, I've been all types of them. Uh, let's go with uh, I'm not sure here, pal. Wolf. Oh, that was RB. No, Wolf. Wolf is incorrect. Sierra, you want to take a stab at this one? Oh. Ah. I was going to say dinosaur. <laughs> the correct answer is elephant. Elephants. Oh, I'm gonna have to, oh, they did tell us that on uh on Lion King. Hmm. Hmm. All right, cool. What this is Jason Michael. Science and technology. What was the mm. name of the mm. first man? Mm-hmm. Well, the first man-made damn. Hold on, let me read this. This is like what was the name of the first man-made satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957? Sputnik. Sputnik is correct. That is correct. All right. I knew that. I said, I seen it when he said it. Y'all seen how your face went. <laughs> Sputnik. All right. All right. We got some, we got some action. We got some action. Let's go. We got action. We got action. Jason Michael. What animal is known by the nickname Sea Cow? Uh, um. <laughs> the manatee? Manatee is correct. All right. We working now. We working now. We got some action. Darius, he one point behind you now. He one point behind you. Sierra. No, no, never mind. You good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Fifth question. Oh, my goodness. Bro. They, science and technology hooking you up, Jason Michael. What is the national bird of the United States? Bald eagle. The bald eagle is correct. You got a face off. Four to four. Sierra's behind. A little bit. I'm gonna say the number, but she's a little bit behind. All right. This one might be easy. I don't know if I wouldn't have seen the answer right now if I would get it. But Jason Michael, which 17th century inventor built his first telescope in 1609? Um Isaac Newton. Mm, that's incorrect. Nobody else want to get in on this one. Time. The correct answer is Galileo. Galileo. I knew. Damn it. Galileo. I was like, Galileo. That's how I remember the damn song now. Wow. Talking about Queen earlier. All wow. right. So at the end of the third round, we got a dog fight. Darius is four. Jason Michael is four. Sierra's pulling up the river. She's up now. She's going to get some points here, I believe. So, Sierra, what you want? Arts, culture, people, and events, sports and recreation, science and technology, or geography and landmarks? <laughs> Arts and culture, it seems like it would be the easiest out of all of those. So let's hit this. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Remember, this is for Sierra first. If you guys want to answer, you can raise your hand. All right, Sierra. Arts and culture. First question. What character debuted in the 1928 film short, Steamboat Willie? 
Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. All aboard. I don't know. The only oh. thing. Oh. I don't know. Now I feel like something with a train. I don't know. I want to say Smokey oh. and the Bandit. That's the only one I know. I'm going to go with that. Tom. That was, a, that was a great guess. Great guess. It wasn't it, though. Uh, Jason Michael had his hand up. What you got, sir? Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin is incorrect. Derek, What's the question? What's the question? Derek, what character debuted in the 1928 film, film short, Steamboat Willie? Mickey Mouse. Damn, he said that like, I can't believe y'all didn't know that. That is correct. <laughs> Mickey oh. Damn, the mouse is correct. You did. That was it. That boy was on that boat whistling, kicking his feet. And that's, if you watch any new Disney movies, that's what they show at the beginning of it. Him on that little steamboat whistling like this. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Sierra. Hmm. Which film series featured the character Marty McFly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Everybody's so excited. One day you just made up an excuse. Uh, back to the future. Back to Good the job. future is correct. Holy shit! I thought, woo, girl. Listen, listen. <laughs> y'all almost started an international. Don't be, don't be shaking y'all head like y'all just so disappointed. <laughs> I am way younger than all y'all on this thing. Hey, whoa. No, no uh, age shaming up in here. We don't do that, all right? We don't do that up in here. She say, I'm way young. But look, uh, Back to the Future, my kids, like, if I would have asked my kids that, they would have been like, oh, yeah, that's Back to the Future. Come on now. All right, it's you all good. need to watch these things. Hey, it's all good. Yeah. You got it right. Let's, let's, ooh, you about to have another. This is another one where you're going to have some heads shaking at you. <sighs> well, Sierra. What is the name of the car driven by Speed Racer? Oh, man. I'm just not making up random shit. I don't know. Uh, that was I'm going to just say Speed. I don't know. I've never seen the movie. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is incorrect, man. Jason Michael, what you got? Uh, go go. Oh, that is incorrect. Darius, you want to take this one? Dad, I can't think of that damn. I can't think of it. I had a shirt with a speed race on it, but I can't even think of the car name. Mm. Speed racer, RB, you know that one, right? What you know, speed racer car name, right? Yeah, what is it? I speed racer had a car name. Mach 5, that's correct. It is the Mach 5. Then they end up making it a damn Gillette Razor. <laughs> Mach 5. Mach yeah. 5, that was it. All right, let's see. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. I never knew this. Okay, Sierra, which superhero is referenced in every episode of Seinfeld? Oh, the fuck's in Seinfeld? Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I don't know, Superman, because Superman is like the oldest one of all time. Superman is correct. Good job. Okay. I you have to guess. I think it's like, who watches Superman? Who watches Superman? It's crazy. Oh, that's hilarious. Sierra, you're funny. All right. Next question, Sierra. Oh, goodness gracious, lady. That You picked a good card. I'm, I'm going to say this. What band sings the hit songs no scrubs and waterfalls. Who TLC? <laughs> Man, if you had got that wrong, we just we just would have removed you. <laughs> now, Sierra, that is correct. Sierra, you are one point away. You're tied with Jason Michael right now, one point away from Darius in the lead. And you have one nice. more question in your bunch. This I'm glad I did it this way because it's more fair. Everybody gets a chance, but you know. Okay, your question is, in the Disney version of Cinderella, mm -hmm. what are the names of the Cinderella stepsisters? Come on. Wait, aren't they just called the stepsisters? 
Nah, they got names. Oh, I don't know if they change it. Dang, I don't even know the the names of the of the sisters in the black version of the Cinderella. I don't oh, know. They had the same name in the black version. I can tell you that. They talking about Brandy, right? Oh no, it's impossible. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <sighs> this is a two pointer because it's two quick two names. Dang, I don't know. Time. Jason Michael, what you got? Uh, Drizella. Oh, Drizella. Yes. Anastasia? No. Nope. It is. It is. Anastasia and Griselda. Drizella. Um, what is it? Oh. Anastasia and Gazelia. What did you just say? <laughs> Jason Michael with the two pointer slides into the league after the fourth round. Six, five, four is how the score goes right now. Um, yes, uh, Gisella, Gisella, and Anastasia. That's good stuff. That's good shit. That's good shit. All right, I wonder what KO is. Mm -hmm. This is this kind of time. This is about the time where KO slide in and try to win the game. <laughs> All right, it is on. <laughs> Here it is. What you got, RB? I said that. Oh, okay. Darius, you got you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, all right. Geography and landmarks, science and technology, sports and recreation, people and events, or arts and culture. Let's go ahead and, and chop me up for six points with sports and recreation. Uh oh. There we go. The Clippers yeah. gonna beat the Suns. Man, <laughs> not not with three stars out. Paul George out with a left uh left ankle. Uh James Harden out with a right toe or something, and and uh Kawhi Leonard out with a right ankle. So if if Westbrook can do it by itself, then sure. Well, he got man. You know, man's gonna step up. He always yeah, Terrence Man, Terrence Man do step up quite often. I do like me some Terrence Man. All right. With that being said, I'm gonna sports take recreation for Darius. <clears throat> Darius, what country was Chris Cristiano Ronaldo born in? Uh, Ronaldo. Oh, that's okay. Okay, that's uh, that ain't Brazil, is it? That is not. That is not. Uh, Jason Michael. Can you repeat the question? I only got what the country one. was Cristiano Ronaldo born in? Costa Rica? Costa Rica is incorrect. Y'all got some good guesses, though. Uh, Sierra, you want to dip your head into the Cristiano Ronaldo pool? I don't even know those men. I don't even know those mm -hmm. men. That's one guy. <laughs> Two. No, I don't know. I saw him in the last night. <laughs> it is Portugal. He was born in Portugal. All right. Uh, this is back to Darius. Darius, which team led by MVP Joe mm -hmm. Montana won Super Bowl what is that? 16 in 1982? That will be the 49ers of San Francisco. It is correct. You are in first place tied with Jason Michael right now. Six points apiece. Sierra not far behind with four. Let's keep it going. Uh, oh, never heard of this. This is sports and recreation. What is the white ball in lawn bowls called? Apparently lawn bowls is a, a game. What is the white ball in lawn bowls called? Um, uh, uh, pigeon. <laughs> Pigeons ain't it. That's not it. Nobody else is gonna stab at it. Jason Michael. Is it a gazing ball? A what? A gazing ball? Gazing ball is not correct. It's not correct. Sierra, where you at? I'm gonna go off the wall and say ball. <laughs> ball. Oh, that is incorrect. But that's a good guess. Thank you for guessing. 
Um, correct answer would be a Jack or Kitty. Never ever heard of lawn ball bowls anyway. Never heard of that. All right, Darius. Uh, next question: Which Caribbean or is it Caribbean? Caribbean or Caribbean, whatever you choose. Which Caribbean country has the greatest number of MLB players from 2000 to 2010? Uh, let's say Dominican Republic. Let's say you got a point. That is correct. I mean, that's the only ones I knew. <laughs> that's all the only ones I knew from over there. All of them over there. Yeah, right. Everybody coming about the DR. Everybody want DR, man. Uh, all right. All right. Let's see. Let's go. To the closest pound, oh, to the closest pound, excuse me. To the closest pound, how heavy is the men's discus used at the Olympics, Darius? Let's go with. Let's go with nine and a half pounds. That is incorrect. Jason Michael. Did you say the least? The discus. The discus. The discus. Just 15 pounds. That is incorrect also. KO, were you in when I asked the question? KO is here, y'all. KO is here. Well, KO, the question. I don't need, I don't need to hear the question. The answer is five. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. It is 4.4 to the nearest pound would be four. But you were close. What are we talking about? The, the Olympics. The baby or? He didn't know what the question was. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. The closest To the closest pound, how heavy is the men's disc is used at the Olympics? It'd be 4.4 pounds. Okay. All right. All right. For Derek, uh, let me put that hand down. Okay, oh, let me uh, explain this to you real quick. Uh, Darius is on his last question on his card. Uh, you, uh, and after he answers, you can raise your hand, and if he doesn't get it right, then you can get, have a, a chance at it. But whoever's question it is, that's who gets it. All right. All right. Uh, and Darius, here you go. In in polo, what is a period of play called? Uh, with um, oh, no, uh, quarter, I guess. <laughs> I don't quarter know. is what makes sense to me, but that is incorrect. Jason Michael, repeat the question in polo. What is a period of a play called? Uh, it's a ch 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 chuker, chucker, chuck. Chuka, chuka. That is correct. I ain't never watched polo. I don't know where that comes from, but you get the point for that one. He looked that one up. <laughs> he looked that one up. I, I, I can say in here we do not have a – Policy against looking up. We did we discourage it, but if you do it, you do it. Um, you know, for sportsmanship or whatnot. But at the end of that round, we have two people in first place, Darius and Jason Michael with seven. Sierra is not far behind with four. And I might be able to get my mom to pull up a picture of me playing polo. Oh my god, don't do that. That's in the water, right? Or polo. No, no, no on a horse. Oh, that's on a horse. Oh, on a horse. On a horse. Duh, god damn. Yeah, with the mallet. I don't wear that. I don't wear polo no more. So. I play polo on my my horse Shazam. You got a horse called Shazam, bro. I got it for my um, 14th birthday. Hey, man, I was in, I was in a foster money. home. Yeah, money at a young age is crazy. <laughs> All right, who we at? We are at boom boom. Jason Michael. Jason Michael. Geography and landmarks, science and technology, sports and recreation, people and events. Arts and culture. Um, 
Let's go with sports and recreation. Oh, back to sports. Wait, isn't that what we just did? Yeah, but you, you pick another one. I mean, we got this many cards, so not a big deal. <laughs> I want to do geography. Let's go geography. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Funny. All right. Jason, uh, what country has the most lakes in the world? I'm going to say uh, the United States. That is incorrect. Close, though. Anybody else want to take a crack at it? Uh, I should have won. What country? Let's go with uh, let's go with Russia. Russia. Man, I, I don't know if they got any anything on lakes. They got fucking ponds all over the place, though, but that ain't it. That's not the one. Anybody else want to take crack at it? KO. It's gonna be Canada. It is Canada. Wow. Because they, it, it's Canada because they be cheating. See, all all the lakes that's on their border, they share those too in addition to their own lakes. Ah, well, look at the big brain on KO. All right. Well, you on the board. All right, back to Jason Michael. <clears throat> What U.S. state is closest to Africa? State, U.S. state. 5,000 miles from now. Geography shit right there, boy. I'm going to probably say... Hmm. Texas. Texas is not it. Uh, wait. K.O., hand is up. Was it your hand up first? I didn't see it. K.O., what you got? I'm going to go with Maine. Maine is correct. Maine is correct. Maine has a peninsula that sticks out a little bit further than it would if you would go from, um, what was it? I'll look this one up. Yeah. I don't you would go for it, what happened? It is Maine. It is Maine. All right, Jason Michael, once again. <clears throat> As of 2022, which United State state has the most national parks with nine in total? Um. Colorado? Colorado is incorrect. Darius. Uh let's go with All right. <laughs> Oh man, it's either this one or that. Uh let's go with uh New Mexico. New Mexico is not it. I'm interested in finding out what the other one was. Let's see if anybody else want to chime in. KO. I want to try. Um, I would like to maybe say which one, brother? Let's let's try. Uh, mm, Wyoming. Let's try Wyoming. Wyoming sounds like a good guess. That's not it, sir. That is not it. All right. The question was: As of 2022, which U.S. state has the most national parks with nine and two? Montana. It's not. It's not. Okay. It's California, I think. It is California. It is California. Yeah. Okay, okay. That makes sense. All I right, was going to say Nevada if that wasn't right. <laughs> man, I, I, somebody was asking questions about, oh, it was on the radio. Y'all know I listen to the radio every morning for the little trivia stuff. And uh, do ask somebody, what is the capital of Nevada? And I learned this a long time ago, but dude was like, Las Vegas. And he was like, no. Oh hell no. Uh Reno. Even more no. Uh <laughs> is it uh Nevada City that he started just randomly saying shit. And it was the last <laughs> question that he had to get a thousand dollars. And he didn't get Carson City. Uh damn. Damn, bro. That's crazy. He needed one more answer, and that was it. 
But uh, that's the like, stuff we learned in, in elementary school where you learn every state capital. You don't remember that? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, we're back. Okay, we're back at Jason Michael. Jason Michael, apples originated in what country? Not what state, what country? Japan? Huh? Japan? Japan is incorrect. Anybody want to try? What was the question? Apples originated in what country? Where does apples come from originally? Darius. Uh, let's go with uh, Korea. Korea is not it. South. Oh. <laughs> it's not it. It's not it. I like, I'm glad you specified. No? I was wrong for saying that's not it because there's more than one career. So, but that's not it. KO. In Kazakhstan, in Central Asia, east of Caspian Sea. I'm talking about over there by, by the Philippines. Uh, that, sir, is correct. Is incorrect. No, oh, that's damn. It's Kazakhstan. He definitely looked that one up because that sounds like some Wikipedia. Hey, I don't know if y'all know Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, the only reason why I know the name Kazakhstan yeah. was from Borat. If you ever watched that movie Borat, that's where he was from. My that's family is from crazy. Kazakhstan. I love that shit. When it what happened? You going to I think, I think he mentioned that in there too. He did, do a lot of facts. he did do a lot of facts about Kazakhstan because I thought it was made up when I- That was the only time I ever heard it too though. I met some people from <laughs> Kazakhstan when I was in Turkey though. And they don't look like Borat. They look like I thought it was Middle Eastern, like a mug. Nah, I had to nah. Look it up, they, uh, look, they look like when Japanese. I seen Borat. Yeah, that was crazy. Right. I took some pictures. I got some pictures on my Facebook with them people. That was cool. All right, uh, back to Jason Michael. We're gonna get KO this point. All right, KO is creeping up on Sierra. Sierra, you better answer something, girl. All right, um, Jason Michael. How many U.S. states does the Mississippi River run through? Four. That is incorrect. Open for grabs. Darius. Uh, uh, seven. That is incorrect. Also, Sierra, get in here, girl. Where you at? Where you at? Louisiana, Tennessee, Missouri, no, uh, Kale, what you got? Six. six. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go, well. Oh, no, there's too many, sir. Too many. <laughs> six. Hey, man, hey. I'm going to say four. Girl, you somebody else already said four, girl. Damn. <laughs> That's funny. All right, everybody guess. I'm going to tell you. The answer is. Correct answer is 10. A perfect 10. Now, you can't tell me. I I thought it was six. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. Last question on this topic. Jason Michael, which city in Europe is famous for its casino? and called the gambling capital of Europe. Casino, plural, sorry, casinos. Which city in Europe is famous for its casinos and called the gambling capital of Europe? Um, Prague? Prague is not it. That's a good guess, though. I do. I play some uh, poker games, and they always talk about Prague. Anybody want to guess at this one? Which city in Europe is famous for its casinos and called the gambling capital of Europe? Man, I'm working. I don't have time to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Prague. Time. The correct answer is Monte Carlo in wow. Monaco. Monte Carlo, that's an actual game that they play. All right, so I didn't know this kid was there. 
You didn't know that Monte Carlo was there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know nothing about it. Years I know like some that. people that thought Monte Carlo was just a car. but I mean, it was, but. All right, so after the third round, Sierra, four, KO, three, Jason Michael and Darius tied for seven. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, actually, KO, it is is on you now. It goes to you. So you pick geography and landmarks, science and technology, sports and recreation, people and events, arts and culture. Since I've been over here, I had learned science and technology. Oh, science and technology. All right. We're going to get straight to it. <coughs> technology is going to go to KO. So, KO. First question. <laughs> Dude, science questions are crazy. Who is credited with discovering x-rays? God damn it, I knew that name, man. Oh, shit. This is a Neil deGrasse type of quiz. Uh, Arnold Schmetnick. I don't know. I can't remember the name. Arnold Schmetnick. That is incorrect. <laughs> Michael. Benjamin Franklin. That is incorrect. Also, right, I know his X-ray was showing when he got struck by that damn <laughs> that lightning on that cake. <laughs> Darius Joe, what you got? Um, uh, he wouldn't be named after uh after like a uh, gamma ray or something like that, right? Nah, nah. Oh, nah, that's it would things. make sense though that you would name why why would they call it an x-ray? Like where did they even come from? Where did you come with that uh, idea? Uh no, that would be William Comrade. Willem Rottingen. Rotgen. Will Willem, I don't know how to say it. That's broken broken. He's German. Hmm? Rotgen? How you say Rotgen? Rotgen. Rotgen. He's oh, my. He's, it's got an umlaut. He's German. Yeah. Ula? Is that what you said? Yeah. It's a, it's a, like a little accent mark over the O? It's the two dots over the O. Oh, okay. I, I feel remember, remember, Kim is Irish German. German Irish. All right. Good. All right. Well, look, KO. How many senses do sharks have? The question is how many senses do sharks have? What was he going to get? Uh, I'm going to say two, bro. That is not okay. it. Jason Michael? I'm going to say seven. Seven is correct. Seven is correct. I don't, I don't know how. Damn. The seventh sense is the... Um, I know it's something about their teeth, right? Yeah. I know we got. they got the regular five senses we got. And I know I remember it was something about their teeth that was extra, but I don't yeah, know where it's coming from. They they can't see that well though. They can't see good, but they can see. So they do count that. But it's something on their teeth or something from their gills. I think both. That's probably the other two. Something from their gills that they can sense from. And then their teeth. Yeah. All right. KO, once again. What is a group of camels called? Camels? Uh, yes, camels. I just told you, camels. What it is? <laughs> I mean, that's what I would call them if I seen them. Oh, look at the camels, but that is not the correct term. Remind me not to pick this one ever again. <laughs> Jason Michael, what you got? Is it a clump? It's not a clump. And I actually heard what it was called on Aladdin. They said it in one of the songs. I think it was in a mail. <laughs> No. <laughs> There's Sierra. Anybody want to take a shot? Pack of camels? Yeah. So what do you call a group of camels? What is it called? Uh, a problem. A problem. <laughs> that, was my, that was my first I'm, I'm clueless. All right. Time. That is caravan. Caravan. Oh, man, 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 don't play with me. Huh? Everything could be a caravan. That's, that's bullshit, man. Get out what of here. What you mean everything could be a caravan? What do you call a group of birds? A flock. A flock. 
Exactly. No, it's not a caravan. <laughs> no, but I'm saying the way they move, they can transport in a caravan. Yeah, on, yeah. Man. That's that's what he actually. Said. Actually, a flock of camels is also the correct term um, that they're a associated flock of camels. with. Oh, that's weird. That's just weird. But uh, in the song Arabian Nights, I'm not, I don't have the lyrics in front of me right now, but I'm sure he says something about the, the caravan of cam what a caravan of camels room or something like that. Yeah. All right, let's see. Next question. This is for KO. What color is a spider's blood? Wow, that's weird. I'm going to go with black. That is incorrect, sir. Jason Mike? Yellow. That is incorrect also. J Darius? Verde. Verde is green, what? and that is incorrect. Now, I know I smashed a spider, and I've seen all those colored bloods, or whatever I thought it was blood. The co Sierra? I mean, all you got to do is guess a color. That mm, has I'm going with red. She said red. That is incorrect also. I better blue. not be clear. According to this, it's blue. It is blue. Now, that's a, that's a blue blood for that ass, right? Blue blood. There's many times I done watched the regular phobia. I see no blue blood coming out from being <laughs> spider. Hey, okay, first hey. of all, they got a new one coming out. Do they? They do. They do. Yeah, yeah, they do. yeah, yeah. And they supposed to be scary, for real scary, because they got, like, new technology for it, too? Oh, yeah. They're going to have jump scares in it and shit? I love it. Maybe that's why. I don't think it's going to make it too, like, too, too, like, uh, like, uh. Maybe that's why some of spider man suit is blue. Spider blood. Spider blood. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've never seen blue blood when I smushed the smush the spider. So, yeah, actually, the reason, that, the reason you blue, the reason you didn't see that color is because when the oxygen hits the blood, it changes color. I heard, I heard that that's that was our deal too. That's I heard about human blood. So maybe, maybe it's the same. Okay, right. KO. Why your veins look green because they will be yellow or something. All right. Well, this is a very weird situation, but I'm gonna ask this question. Alfred Nobel, or Nobel, the man who created man. Okay, it is the man who created Alfred Nobel, the man who created the Nobel Peace Prize, is known for inventing what? You just said it. No, that's the, that's the man who created that he wanted. He invented what? Oh, shit. And it's very not Nobel Peace Prize-y. Uh, um, the toaster. Yeah, <laughs> that's incorrect. <laughs> Jason Michael. Dynamite. Dynamite is correct. Now, how the hell? I, how the hell you get you you the person that they named the Nobel Peace Prize after, and you out here inventing dynamite? That that don't go well. Started with, with nitroglycerin. Yeah, I mean, I used to know that. Hey, everybody he, like that. He was trying to find an alternative to nitroglycerin that would be less volatile and more stable. I heard that was it. the reason he created. I, I've heard. Well, I don't know. Why, why did I hear this story? What was that on? That was on something recently, right? Um, maybe. I just heard this story. It was an accidental discovery. Huh. Okay. Uh, the Cam same thing happened with your boy Ooh. during the electric. Uh, uh, Ed Thomas Edison created the electric chair the same way, to own accident, trying to show people how bad alternating current is, trying to uh, discredit Tesla. Mm. I seen that on that movie. Stay what movie was that? Uh, the 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 the. Wow. Current war. Nah, it was before the current war came out. Uh, I'll uh give it to Tesla. You. It was before Tesla came out. It had Edward Norton and and uh, the dude that played Batman in it. Uh, prestige, the prestige. Prestige, yes, the prestige. Loved it. Okay, Ko, last question for you. What is the largest animal on Earth? Technically, oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Technically, not on Earth. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> Go I'm ahead. Go with the whale. Now give me a specify. The great white whale. 
That's not it, sir. That's not it. You said animal, right? Not mammal. Mm, I didn't specify mammal, but mammals is animals. So I did say animal. Correct. This is the largest. I'm, animal. I had to be I'm gonna say. Mode. I'm gonna say the the blue whale. It is the blue whale. Damn oh, man. I'm but never playing technically, this that's a, a mammal, not an animal. <laughs> a mammal, man. <laughs> All mammals are considered animals, too. Yes. I suppose that's... Yeah, yeah. Mammals, yeah, definitely uh, is an animal, so. All right, K.O. You know what? Well, I'm giving you a point for whale, too. I'm, I'm going to give you a point for blue whale because that was the answer. I'm going to give you a point for whale because that, that, was, that was correct. It's just a... Mammal is just a type of kind of like amphibious, reptiles and shit. Just yeah, all the animals. <laughs> that's a, that's the okay. category of animals, right? Or the, what do they call it? All right, okay. we're back to the beginning of the thing. Uh, Sierra, it's on you. You got your chest. Last time you was up, you put some points on the board. Let's see what you got this time. Geography. Stop calling me out. Geography and landmarks, science and technology, sports and recreation, people and events. Art and culture. You already know I'm a pick. Arts and culture. She said I have a lot of culture too. A lot. <laughs> That's how she got her points last time. She went back to the well to this dry. I feel you. Oh wow. Oh wow. The only way to do it. Well, this is gonna piss you off a little bit, but let's go straight. Uh, to it. pick another card. <laughs> pick another card. <laughs> I didn't know you we can do that. I would have yeah, done yeah. that the whole time. No, I'm telling him to shuffle and pick another car in the same category. Card right, that's picked. what I'm saying. I would have said do that. It was my turn. Card is picked. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so Sierra, what was director Spike Lee's first featured film? What? I know Spike Lee is black. I know that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what, his first featured film? Ah. Uh. Yes, his first feature film. What was the first movie he put out? Oh, shit. I don't know. I kind of want to say House Party, but I feel like that's kind of lame. Who? Oh, wait. I'm going with that. Yep, that was, Who was the first. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just stop. K K Who Lee. was the first? Spike Lee. Don't do not do it. K.O. Leave it alone. Um, hey, what uh, happened to my hand? No, I see. I'm, I'm just asking because I didn't hear the question. Oh, Spike Lee. What was his first film? No, or I said the question, not the hell. No, who? What was director Spike Lee's first featured film? Go ahead, Jason. Do the right thing. Nope. The right thing is incorrect. Darius. Oh, let me get it in. It's, it's school days. That is incorrect. K.O. <laughs> that, was, that was wrong? Yes, that was wrong. <laughs> Why is you giggling over there? Seriously? Y'all was writing down on me. <laughs> was, was it Jungle Fever here? I don't know. It, it is not Jungle Fever. Everybody has answered. Come on, crooked. The correct answer. I know it wasn't crooked. White man can't She's jump. Got to have it. She's got to have it. Never, Never heard, of heard of that movie. That's why I was his first one. Y'all heard all his other ones. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I do. It was remember. about a freak. It was about what's that lady name that played that girl? She was nasty. Too. Hold on. I'm a, this is like history. My mama, my mama, I seen that movie with my mama. So she's got to have it with some other who starred in it. Yeah, just took your child innocence with that movie, huh? I Man. bet after this, she had you watch Pretty Woman, huh? Uh, yes, actually, I did watch Pretty Woman with my mama. That's a gosh damn shame. I'm calling them folks on her. It's too late, fam. Didn't they do a TV show based off of it? They did do a TV show based off of it. Because I just looked it up and it looks familiar. In 2017, they did. Um, She's Got to Have It was 1986, right before Do the Right Thing. It was starring that little freak. What was her name? Oh. Tracy Camilla John. She played Nola. Uh, that's that was his first appearance as Mars Blackman, which y'all don't, don't know Mars Black. That's the guy who loves Air Jordan. Time, right? Huh? Oh, Mars Blackman. Yeah, Mars Blackman. That's that's who uh, Spike Lee did all the, the commercials for when he was. That's oh. the character he used when he did the Air Jordan commercials. And the dude, oh. baby, baby, please, baby, please, baby, 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 please, baby, please. He's good. Yeah. 
All right. I remember that actually. Yeah, it was good. All right, uh, Sierra, here we go. Mm -hmm. What type of poetry characterized by its lack of defin definite rhythm and meter was popularized by Walt Whitman? What the hell? What type of poetry characterized by its lack of defined rhythm and meter was popularized by Walt Whitman. I don't know who Walt is, so I'm gonna go and say rap. Nope. That's not it. Good guess. Because rap mm. does not have a defined rhythm or um or sometimes rhythm. rap don't be really flowing with the music, but I guess right. It's, it's, that's whack rappers. You're right. Jason Michael. Um the epic. Oh, that's incorrect. But good guess. KO. The spoken word. Spoken word is incorrect. Darius. Hey, I had to shoot yeah. something. Yeah. It ain't Renaissance, is it? It's not. It's not. It is free verse. Free verse is the answer. What in the tarnation? I don't do poetry, so don't ask me. I am not a poet. Wife of tip. All right, next question. What is the technical name for a hashtag, Sierra? Oh my God! Technical name for a hashtag. Yeah, and it's not what you think. I know we had we called it something else back in the day, but this is what I'm looking at. Ain't what I know. Sierra. Uh. Take my finger. Yeah, I don't know. A number sign. I don't know. Number sign. <laughs> Good guess. Uh, Jason Michael. Pound symbol? Pound symbol is what I remember it as. That's incorrect. KO? Am I am I unmuted? Yes. That is it's like a not an octagon. A, 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 something like that. You're chopping up. You're chopping up, sir. No, that's the name. It's like octa. Corp, torp, up the throat, something like this. I don't know. It's it was something like this. Octa throat, octa throat. That's what it's called. I have never heard this term in my life, but yes, that is correct. Nice. A hashtag. This <laughs> is an octa throat. The reason I, I, I even knew it. that shit. I understand it because it it divides it into eight pieces if you use the, but it's, it's really just added nine. It so that's bullshit. Right. They just uh, added it to Morse code this year. Really? Yeah. That's so weird. Well, actually, in 2023, they added it. Oh, okay. This game came out in 2023, so they might have added it on here too then. Okay, Sierra. I don't, you, you didn't get no extra points yet. So let, mm. Okay, I'll dig past you now, so let's try to get this one. Man, you knew Tesseract was a real shape. The Tesseract was a cube, right? Yeah, but it's a cube inside yeah. of a cube with the vertices connected to it. Oh, like the big cube, the, the little piece in the middle cube is the, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And the corners are all connected. Yeah. Okay. Learn something new. I will never remember that, but that's awesome. <laughs> uh Sierra, here we go. What film's tagline was a little pig goes a long way? Ooh. My little pig goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Can't say. Say it. No, I don't know. <laughs> Time's, up. Time's up. All right. Play some Michael. Charlotte Swift. Charlotte Incorrect. Darius. Babe. Babe is correct. In my, I'm about in my, to say three little P. In my, in my study, one or two, that's the only two movies I would have seen. Charlotte's Web of Babe, because that's the only time a, a pig did the damn thing. Now, what was the, Babe did the one, Babe was the one where he was like herding the, the sheep and stuff. I don't remember that one very well. I don't remember, I remember Charlotte's Web like a champ. Babe was yeah. different. All right, well, Sierra, what was the name of Dr. Teeth's band 
on the Muppet Show. They just did a movie, not so long. I mean, a TV series on Disney Plus, not so long ago. Yeah, and I've never seen the Muppets. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna say some stupid. Say the teeth, I guess. The teeth. That is incorrect. Jason, Michael, what you got? Misfits. That's incorrect. Also, that's, that's a good show, though. Uh, Darius. The Rockers. Oh, that's not it. KO? Um, shit, uh, punks. I don't know. It is the Electric Mayhem. That was, I believe that was the name of Dr. The Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. That's it. And he, that came out back in the 70s. And yeah. the TV show, I don't know if y'all seen it. I, I recommend it. Um, it basically was one of those, like, you know how, let's say, uh, the police, uh, Sting's group, the police, if they did a comeback tour right now, how they would do one of those documentaries, filming all this, talking about all the stuff that happened in the past and then coming to the new day. That's what they did with that. They made it look like a whole documentary. It was it was pretty cool. Um, Animal right. played the drum. You know it. Animal played Animal, the drum. Animal played the drums like a champ. Boy. I was mad. Raw, I thought Rolf was in the band too, but he, he did his own. He played a trumpet with his, with his own way. He, he did, yeah, he did his own thing. All right, next question. Last question for you, Sierra. This is your chance to tie up with KO. Let's see what you got. I think you can do it. Which movie, okay. set in part during World War II, won the 1997 Oscar for Best Picture? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Sierra, you're muted. You're beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. Man, the most iconic movie, man. <laughs> Probably haven't seen it. Get your ass, kid. I bet you have. Not that movie that y'all thinking. I'm, I'm just giving a hint right now. Uh, when I read the name, I was like, "Oh, that ain't what I thought." And I think y'all think what I thought too. Jason, Michael, your hand was up. What you got? Saving Private Ryan. That's the one I thought. That ain't it. Uh, Darius, what you got? Yeah. Hold on. World War II. Damn. I don't know why I thought I was thinking of Forrest Gump. Forrest, it wasn't Forrest Gump either, but that, Forrest Gump came out in, did it come out in 97? I don't know. Yeah, but, more. but yeah, that, yep, that was the other one. KO, what you got? Pearl Harbor. That ain't it either. Damn. They all Midway. good places. All good guesses. The answer is the English patient. Now I want to go back to the old movie, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I'm oh, with Sierra. Movie. I've never it's seen it. That's an old movie. That's how I see that movie. Not sound like that. It was on tape. VCR. She. My mama got this on. Yeah, what he just said on VCR. The English. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's your boy, hoes. Uh, was that Sandra Bullock? Uh, man, see, I want to say Liam Neeson's was in there, but he wasn't. Uh, I was like, it ain't the it ain't the 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 world football coach from radio. Who was the who uh, was uh, Ed Ed something? It ain't him. Ed O'Neill. Ed Harris, I think, but that ain't who him. Ed Harris. It had Willem Dafoe in it. Ralph Fiennes. Ralph Fiennes is who was in it. The dude that played uh the nigga with no nose. Uh, the bad guy on Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Professor Voldemort. 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 Oh, who was yeah, the nurse? Yeah. The nurse was Juliet Bo Binochi. I never heard of her. But it had Willem <laughs> Dafoe in it. Colin Firth was in it. It don't matter. She wasn't sexy anyway. So fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's it. That's it. All right, Sierra. You did not let me down. I've had some good laughs on that one. So I appreciate that. We got 10 minutes left, guys. And it is on Darius. Darius, what do you want to do? Arts, Arts and culture. People and events, sports and recreation, science and technology, or geography and landmarks. We gonna go with people and events. People and events for the win. Let's go. At the current time, the winner right now is Jason Michael up two points on Darius. KO's following him by behind three points, and Sierra's following everybody. <laughs> Don't even say nothing. Don't I'm even not, say it. I'm not. I, I'll <laughs> You almost won last week. I just put that out there. Almost right. don't count. 
Wow. People and events. This is where we go to Darius. Darius, at the request of the First Lady, which U.S. president banned alcohol from the White House? What the hell? And who the hell? Uh, let's go with uh, Eleanor Roosevelt's husband. That, I'll take that, but that is incorrect. And I really don't know who this president is, first and foremost. Uh, Jason Michael. The answer you're looking for is the president, right? Yes. I know I said Eleanor Roosevelt's husband. But it, was, it wasn't him. It wasn't Teddy Roosevelt. But you're you're asking for the president. I'm asking right? for the president. Yeah, I'll take that. If you can tell me the wife's name and say her husband, I'll take that too. Um, I'm gonna say uh, I think I know who it is. Now. I'm gonna say oh, Wilson. It wasn't Wilson. It uh, wasn't Lady Bug. It wasn't Lady Bug either. Ko. It had to be uh Hillary. <laughs> Because he probably blamed it on alcohol. Stop it. It was never Bill Bill don't get stuff banned. He he do the banning. All right. Um, it wasn't LB uh was it? It was not. I've never even heard of this president. And I'm ashamed of myself because uh, it was, Roy Cole. Ru Rutherford B. Hayes. Rutherford. Oh wow. Never heard that of makes him. sense. He's uh right. I took off this because somebody died, dude. That was right after the prohibition. He took off because somebody died. I say he he's one of those somebody died. I got the position guy. Oh, like he was the vice president and he took over because oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Correct. His wife told him he had to, he banned alcohol from the White House. That's crazy. All right. Oh, <laughs> we on we on Darius. Darius. What well known rapper was born Marshall Bruce Mathers the third? I his hands stay up. That ain't fair. Oh. No, it's oh, Darius. Uh, what you got, Darius? Oh, uh, that'll be uh one of my favorite uh candy bars, uh snacks, M&M. <laughs> M M&M and M is correct. It is he said candy ball snacks. <laughs> it is, it is. It's a good one. All right, here we go. Next question. This, this, is, piece. this is for Darius. Who first joined Christopher Guest repertoire? Ooh. Ooh, I hate words. Company as a um, let me read it through and then I'm gonna read it again. Who first joined Christopher Guest repertory company as a character? Sherry Ann Cabot, former two time best in show winner with the stand. What the hell? No, you know what? I'm out. Yeah, fuck this. All right, I'm gonna I'm switch up. I know who this person is, so I'm gonna ask a different <laughs> question, but it's the same answer. Who starred? In these two movies, make sure that nobody else is in the other one. Okay, who uh, who starred in American Pie and also starred in Legally Blonde? It's a lady. Uh, it's a. Were you asking for a female or a male? It's a female. Female. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't remember what you call it being in uh, American Pie, but uh. Uh, uh, Reese Witherspoon? That's not it. That's not it. She was not in American Pie. All right, let's see. Hey, Michael. Oh, uh, is that Amy? No, no Amy. Amy. Yeah. Oh, I know who it is now. Hey, yo. <laughs> is it uh, Jim's wife? I mean, Jim, Jim, Jim's mother? No, not Jim's mom either. Uh, Darius, you know who it is? Was it Tara Reed? No, 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 no. It was, it was, Sierra, do you want to guess? No, she's like, I don't know none of the movies you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It was <laughs> one Stifler's mom. Stifler's mom. Don't say that, man. Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, Stifler's mom? Oh, yeah, Stifler, Stifler's mom. Uh, she was Stifler's mom in American Pie, and she was the I'm lady at the, the hair salon too. on Legally Blonde. She told her to do the snap and pop. Oh, I ain't never that. Damn bird when she did. Oh. Jennifer Coolidge. I have no idea. This is what the question says. Who first joined Christopher Guest repertoire company as character Sherry Ann Cabot, former two-time best in-show winner with her stand, standard poodle Rhapsody in white, a.k.a. Butch? What the fuck? Who writes a question like that? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, somebody, 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 highly sophisticated. 
Mm, yep, it was. It was. Gotcha. Gotcha. Done deal. All right. Everybody's hands down. Let's do this. Next question. Which president worked as a model for Cosmopolitan magazine in 1940? Darius. 1940. That's what I'd be doing. 1940. Yeah. Would that be Jesus? Um, Jesus. Buchanan? That's wrong. Buchanan is incorrect. Jason Michael? Ford. Ford. Gerald R. Ford is correct. And I believe that puts... Nope. Nope. Next two questions are... are, are they could come in handy. All right. He's up, he's up two points right now on Darius. So there's two questions left. Let's make it happen. KO? All right. Let's go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Clutch. Here we go. This is for Darius. Who was the first person to complete the first solo nonstop transatlantic flight? And I know, I, I did know that. Man, uh, I, man, look, I ain't going to say, look, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to say and say wrong. I'm going to say Miss Earhart. I wish it was, but it wasn't her. Jason Michael, what you got? Um, That was the dude. Um, the ace. His name was uh, he flew for the Pony Express. Um, uh, Steve Steven Time. That is incorrect. KO, you want to take a crack at it? The first solo. The first solo nonstop transatlantic flight. Who's the first person to complete it? That, mo that dude off the movie, Sully. <laughs> it was not Sully. He landed in the Hudson, but he ain't do that. Um, it was Charles Lindbergh. Lindbergh. Yes. Lindbergh. The That's good wife must have said it. He looked like, damn. He was, in, he was in, he was in. Yeah, he was an ace in World War One, and he flew for the Pony Express. He was gone, baby. He was gone. Yep. All right. Yeah. Last question. yeah Darius, last question. Who was responsible for the largest Ponzi scheme, losing sixty-four point eight billion, according to prosecutors? Ooh, I heard of this. Uh, is that is that one of the mobsters in Chicago by John Gotti? I want to say yes, but let me see. <laughs> I really, no, I really do because I know this name, and I'm like, why do I know this name? He got a, it. Is a mobster name for sure. Let's see. Oh, I mean, that's oh, mobster oh, activity. Oh, oh. Ain't hard to come up with. It's, oh, it, it's not. It's not. <laughs> that's mobster no, type of activity. Jason Michael, what you got? Um, was it uh, Carl Wilson? Oh, it was not Carl Wilson. Good guess, though. That dude uh, stole a life. He said that stole a <laughs> That dude stole so much money. Hey, they had a lot, though. Uh, KO? Capone. No, it was not Capone. Great. Uh, Chicago oh, oh, I know who it is. Oh. That black lady. Huh? It wasn't her, fam. <laughs> it was Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff. He Bernie Madoff. He did that. He did yeah. with the nasty. He did. He did all that. And he's stealing nothing because I don't know what that. <laughs> he was part of. The, he was part of the mob, though. Nah, he was not. He has a mobster oh. name. He was a. Oh. He was a Hofstra uh, um, University. Uh, Brooklyn Law School. He used, he used McCaffrey's oh. antivirus to make people pay for a uh, piece of software that would, uh, what do you call it, charge them money exponentially over time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, broke oh, he was smart, yeah. Yeah, he was one of them smart motherfuckers. Yeah. Like All right, well, look, cool that, that was the last question of the night. It is 10 o'clock, and Jason Michael up? with a two-point lead is our winner for the night. If I'm not mistaken, Sierra, last week, 
Did you lose? You lost by two points, right? It was really close last week. So we've been having some close ones. Wow, man. Yeah, I think so. this shit, bro. Nah, yeah. Fuck me. All right, but Darius, you was there, man. Uh, hopefully you know. again, and I'm going to give y'all a hint. Y'all going to be the first ones to know. I'm not going to put this out until tomorrow. But next week, trivia night will be name five. Can you name five? So it's not going to be... It's not gonna be one of them things you can study for. It's gonna be fast. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm gonna ask you, uh, black com black comedians, name five. Go. You got so Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. David Chappelle. Uh, Mike Evans. You gotta get it. You gotta get it in. I'm gonna figure out if I'm gonna give you. I think it's like Davis. Seven seconds. All right. I think it's gonna be seven seconds. That's what I think. I'm gonna seven seconds. Seven seconds. You got experience. That's no fun at all. Yeah, that's it. All right, but thank y'all for coming out tonight. Jason Michael, I'm putting you on the board for this month's uh, shot at the Son of a Bitch questions. You will yes. be joining Jason G. So we got two Jasons on the board. Come back next week. Try to get yourself on the board at the end of the month. We do Son of a Bitch oh, yeah. questions for money, for money. So oh, yeah. I'll, be I'll be back next week. Thank I'll you. Be back. All right, love y'all. Dipset. All right. Likewise.